had to smoke, though. It's smoke in the air already. You want all the smoke. We're going to turn into the All the Smoke podcast. All the smoke. Lena going to hit us. I think it's out of order. Oh, I can't do it anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the most reckless podcast in the universe. Oh, I like it. I like Feel it. it. Yes, okay. You see, you yeah, see what I'm talking that about? Shit you be doing. Oh, man. <laughs> she, one day she's going to love the smoke. She's going to love the smoke. She's going to want all the smoke. You don't no. want the smoke? No. Not that smoke. See, when I play Call of Duty, I come for the paper. smoke. <laughs> it smells like mothballs. We had this conversation. I don't know. Maybe I like the smell of mothballs. Maybe you just elderly inside and you don't oh, even know shit. it <laughs> oh inside and outside oh dang 36 it. ain't even that old that, man. Ain't, that, ain't that old. is old, old that is the golden ages damn you're in your golden years like that that's the yeah. my golden years golden. Like. you right behind me <laughs> stop <laughs> stop with the bullshit I'm just glad I'm not the youngest person in the room anymore uh, I definitely probably am how old are you Oh, hold on. Let's properly introduce. Oh, yeah. sorry, yeah. sorry. What? This is how we do it here. I'm sorry. So you you're the first <laughs> guest in a long time because we. Just, uh, here's my thing. So we just. I've been jump doing the it. podcast with just these guys so I can get them comfortable in front of the camera because when they first came on, they was just. And it was like cutting teeth to try to get I them to talk. I just didn't know what was coming but to, to me. Fair, what's your sign? I'm a Sagittarius. Okay, but you see, I was expecting. Okay, so why was you chilling? <laughs> Because <laughs> I thought my past to was going to come out okay. a lot. Okay. And I didn't want to talk about it. That's what Fair I assumed. Enough. But yeah. it wasn't even like that. So I was just like waiting for the question. I'm like, oh, man, yeah. I'm going to be dragged, blah, 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 ah! the questions. Fair. But it just never happened. Fair. So then I got comfortable. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I just love them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> we got the lovely Rashida Hi. right here Hello. in the flesh. <laughs> I had to, I mean, Give for a effect. Smoke. Yeah, for the for effect. So how are you? You know, I'm doing good. Today was a long day for a Tuesday. Okay. But I'm, I'm happy to be alive. I can't complain. Mm. You know, I had some pineapple juice and tacos. So that's always Taco a good time. Taco Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, like fresh okay. squeezed pineapple juice, though. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Fresh squozen. Yeah. All right. That's the best. <laughs> yes. I'm really into that. Yeah. We're gonna get one of those little machines now, uh-huh. the it's ninja, happy. the ninja yep. blend. Is that yep. what it's called? Oh mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I had so many natural drinks and realized how pure and delicious it is. They're probably not gonna taste the same because our fruits and veggies are not Mm-mm. the real thing. They're mm-hmm. processed it's and stuff. Enough. Yeah, but it's <laughs> it's gonna be close. Yeah, for sure. I've gotten to the realization that the United States is just one big ass theme park. We are very unhealthy people. I will say that. There's so much to do. There's so much fun. We play around a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? Our food is just our unhealthy. Food is the disgusting. food is unhealthy. Very. Yeah. But to be fair, our food is delicious at the same time. It is. I ain't because saying it ain't slapping. Used to it. No, I didn't say it wasn't slapping. It's delicious because it's like it's super radical. It breaks so many laws. Like we be coming up with the fattest shit. Yes. But yes. It's yes. meant to only nah. eat for some times. We yeah. OD on it. It's right. supposed to be a treat. Facts. <laughs> Listen. Right. Like like whoever whoever came up with the um whoever came up with the donut burger, you wild as shit. I w- I didn't I didn't do that. But I, I said no. I would try it. I said I probably would have got insta BDs. Listen, I you know how I said last time that every country has a different it's the same Coca-Cola bottle, but it's still gonna have same a taste, different no. taste. Yeah, so I, we're in Costa Rica. I'm like, I thought about that, I thought about you guys. I'm like, oh man. Pulled up my phone, put the ingredients for the American, you know, Coca-Cola. I'm mm. in Costa Rica, get their bottle, turn it around. It was like Six ingredients. If you look at the American one, it's like a paragraph this big. Yeah. Yep. 
yep. for it to stay it's longer crazy. on the show. And most of the stuff that's the in it is illegal. It's illegal uh, yes, in other countries. The, the one in Costa Rica tastes like shit, but does it taste <laughs> like shit? Or is it because I'm so used right. to the crap yeah. that they mm-hmm. give here? Because yeah. most my body's adjusted to it. Because most of the it. stuff that's in the one here is just makes it, it it's just more sugar. It makes yeah. it sweeter. Yeah. yeah. And other yeah. stuff. That's why I said a big ass theme park. When you go to a theme park, what's there? Just sugary. Just Savory. goodness, just That's shit, all just we wafting. Talked about. That's all we talked about over there. We cracked an egg, and the yolk is golden orange color. Mm. Here it's like yellow. It makes you think, and the most delicious egg. And I know it's just a fucking egg, but when I tell you this egg tastes like heaven, how scent, much was that egg? Well, <laughs> remember that the first part. How that, much was the fucking egg? No, it was care. cheap because it was in the village. They grow their oh, own okay. stuff, so it's natural, man. It is so good. So good. So what about going to, like, what if we, like, go to, like, one of the farms here in America and we just get, like, an egg or something? Is it going to be the same or no? It depends on the farmer. Yeah. True. It depends, depends on what farmer. he's feeding his chickens. True. How he's raising his chickens. Like, it starts from, like, beginning to end. It's, that's the problem. Are you trying but to. But hold on, hold on. Now we back in that catch-22, what came to, before the chicken or the egg. If you get a processed uh, chicken that's already been tra- processed. And then boom! How how many how many how many uh, eggs do you have to wait until you start getting? I don't think it works like that. Think of it like this. Maybe I'm going stupid. Oh my bad. (laughs) Okay, I'm uneducated. I'm sorry. (laughs) I just don't think it works like that. Okay. I think you could buy a baby chicken, right? Like a newborn baby chicken. Even if it's not a baby chicken, if if you have like. A not so organic chicken. Mm-hmm. Okay, it was it steroid was just up. L- yeah steroid up. <laughs> but if you detox that chicken and you feed that chicken organic greens instead of all the crap that the factories do, then that chicken will be able to produce organic eggs, just like us. Like if you detox, if I were to detox from everything right now, okay. all of the parasites will necessarily leave my body, so everything moving forward will be good. The stuff prior can't speak on that. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. But I will say, guys, if you ever have the chance, worth the trip. Yeah. Well, I'll go to, to Costa, Costa Rica. Rica. Okay. Worth it, a hundred percent. Oh, I saw your pictures and whatnot, boy. You was, was in there living. just having fun. I was living, and then all the wild animals. You know, I'm an animal lover, so I was out there like chilling. And then I came to the conclusion that if I was to die and come back, I want to be a fucking sloth. They sleep 22 hours a day, and they only poop one time a week. Mm. That sounds amazing. Yeah. So you and just want to sleep all day? Yes. Don't I already? <laughs> 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 don't I already? Yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> Count me in. I'm going to be a sloth in Costa Rica. That's it. Wait, so you like sleep? I, I, don't get it twisted. I love some sleeping. But you like sleeping that much to the point where you want to miss stuff? Because it's just like, it's so no, much I won't miss stuff. going on. Well, best believe that on my way over to the activity, if I'm not driving, I'm taking a nap. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to take a nap wherever but I could. a slug <laughs> ain't thinking about that. Mid, <laughs> yeah. mid uh, tree branch transitioning, yeah. you might you <laughs> right. might go to sleep. They're the cutest things ever. Oh, man. I yeah, I, no, I get it. Yeah, two hours of just... They do two hours of something and then go to sleep. Two hours of, in those two hours, they eat, they hang out, and then back to sleep. And then they smile, dude. Like, they literally close their eyes and they have a cute little... <laughs> I almost brought one. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Um, Rashida, um, here's my thing. I, I was wondering why you picked this podcast of all podcasts to come on because it's like... <laughs> Oh, this is funny. Yeah, Go. You got a parlor talk. talk, and you know, you get the. the you know. Where's so. HR? <laughs> Where's HR? In, in New uh-huh. York? Uh-huh. On vacation? Uh-uh. Again. This man's on vacation again. Yeah, For again. Real? Yeah. That's crazy. Man, that man takes so many man vacations. vacations more than he I feel like there's a conflict of interest situation, and I don't like it. Facts. <laughs> yeah, I was like, man, we, we ratchet tree over here. So. I don't know if you'll you get a proper uh, interview. You no, know, hear me out. Okay. I definitely have duality to me. Okay. And I like a contrast of environment. Mm. If everybody is the I same in you. the environment, then nobody gonna learn nothing. <laughs> like, and what makes you think no. she ain't gonna be at the party talk next week? I, I'm not. I'm and, not and knocking it. A different crowd. And I'm then not a knocking different it. Crowd. 
I'm not knocking it. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just asking. <laughs> this is a podcast. I'm asking questions. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> Look, I watched The Mother. Anybody check that out? Fucking yeah, amazing. No. 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 Really what? Oh, no. You need to watch it. Even if you don't watch TV, just Hear try to get it in. Hear me out. <laughs> if one of my homies was like, yo, watch this with me, I'll watch it. But okay. me, in my free time, no, I won't watch it. Oh, well. I, I really... What's well, this? Really, I don't watch TV. You don't watch TV. No. But I, I try to cut back on on as I like much TV, TV time. with people. Like I like that as a form oh, of quality I got you. time. Oh, I got you. Okay. But by I got myself, you. I'm really like always busy, or I might read. I'm a music person, but I definitely always got a book. Okay. Got you. Well, whenever you're with the homies and they bring it up, just know that it is. Oh, it's, a, it's some gas. Yes. Yeah. It's some gas. I started the day before I left, I think, and I, I was amazed. I don't know about y'all reviews, because sometimes, <laughs> like, because y'all, I'm going I'm to just say this real quick. I think y'all shitted on the Power Ranger movie a little bit too heavy. That shit oh, I'm was still shitting fucking on that. whack. No, it was not. Straight I'm still ass. It was That's not. What it was. No, it was. It, really it was wasn't. the worst I'm still hour of my life. That I never, to this day, I still haven't got it back. Didn't, no, because here's the thing. You said it, you, th- you felt like it was too short. It was short. It was enough time. It felt listen, it was enough time. Oh, it was like, way sh- enough. Listen, it was plenty enough. Sh- I didn't want no more. They put in an hour. All these years enough. that they haven't done shit, they, they had all shit. this they just time had a- to think of something. And that's the what they you ha- came up they with. They have done no. shit. They just done no. other series. No. no, it was just different for no, them. No, I need you to watch the mother. You're going to like it. I promise. If you don't like it, I'll buy you some fried cheese. <laughs> Fried yeah. cheese. Yeah, because if you don't eat it, then I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll See, get you some fried cheese. Women giving gifts. <laughs> <laughs> no, you really need to watch it. I promise you're gonna like. Yeah, it, it was that gas. Yeah, it was. Um, Can I a couple, a, a couple of uh, of wait, unbelievables so wait, so wait, in there Lopez every now and again, movie, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Was her character. acting look good? Yes. You know her oh yeah, 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 yeah. Acting was on point. She's a good actress. Yeah, I don't like all the... In this the, regard, all the bullshit, the, dr- the personal shit that she's been engaged 17 times and, not, you know... That ain't got nothing to like, do with like, it. I'm saying, if you're a, ba- if you're a bad actress, you're a bad actress. No, like, no, no. On, she's say. good. And I was so into it that I did do my... You know, I always like to do my research after, so I did pull out, like, the Google. And I was like, oh, how old is she? Does she do her own stunts? Blah, blah, blah. She's one of the highest paid actresses because she used to do all her stunts. 98% of the time. But when she started having kids, when she had kids, she realized the danger she was in. So she said, let me fall back. Mm-hmm. So it's now like 70 to 80% of the stunts is done by her. And that's why she's still getting paid good. And then the other one, you know, like a stunt devil comes in I and mean, does it for why her. Why is that I mean, a respect it, thing? I, I, I would c- clearly get out of the way and get somebody else. I mean, not, but that's I mean, the honestly, thing. Why hurt some, myself? Some, some of the stunts ain't even that bad. Some of yeah, the stunts don't like, be that bad. If like, you could do it, then do it. You know? yeah, yeah, but if, if I yeah. if I can't, I'm I clearly have, getting out of the way. But you get paid a lot of money when you perform. your. What's that? The guy. That's cool. Was the guy that does his own stunts like night like a hundred percent of them? Oh, you talking about Tom Cruise? There you go. Look how much he gets paid for movie because cool. he they don't have to replace him for anything. So I whatever mean, so they're the, gonna the Rock spend does with the same the thing. Came for the whole check. Yeah, I like this. Guy. I mean, the Rock yeah. does the same thing. I mean, he was in WWE, so of course he does. He does so his own shit, it. right? So his checks are yeah, his checks are huge. But yo, she and plus like some of the stunts like it. okay, you're just you're jumping onto like a some like floaty thing. So mm-hmm. I mean, is it even that bad? Some of the stuff I that mean, bad. when you're 50 years old, it is. Yeah, I could barely yeah, make it down brittle, the bro. stairs. So yes, it I is mean, a lot. <laughs> you also said you're unhealthy too. So yeah, that's true. And you're and you say you're 99 percent apple, apple juice, juice too. So <laughs> <laughs> I would expect for you to I be tired going down the stairs. 99 percent apple juice. I need a shirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because a, a slight move could really like damage you. Look at the the. The comedian that used to do the um, fam, uh, America's Funniest Videos, he passed away in the hotel by a simple slip. He hit his head. But that's a that's a hit on the head, though. But, that, that, but it was like slip. he sat back, boom. You know, it was so... That's just a mishap. I ain't got <laughs> yeah, nothing to do like, with... That ain't a stunt. That's <laughs> that's the like the a, dad a, from Full House. There you go. Yeah, Bob Saget. Saget. There. Bob Saget. You know, so, yeah, there's... Even though, like, sons are not that big, you could still get hurt. I mean, but honestly, after a certain age, any kind of... Any kind of cause of death is just not. It's just well, natural. I, I will it's say natural. this: if is you it, like, honestly, is it 
Because if you because if you fall like if you're old and you fall yeah like I think that's just but how define, are you trying to say they deserved it? Not saying that you deserve, it, but that's just how you <laughs> was meant to go. Define old. Are we talking about literal stage of like living, like age, or are we talking about health conditions old? Because I don't I'm know. going I'll health, say conditions. More health conditions old. Because okay. I mean, conditions. you could be like like my grandfather. He's like ninety and. He can still move around. He still gets around or whatever. Yeah. So. I mean, y'all just referenced The Rock. The Rock is roided up. Okay? Hella, hella lumber. <laughs> of course, he's going to do his own out. stunts. Yeah. The man still works out. Like, dude. But he, he roided up. Come on. Because when he was in WWE, he was not he, that he big. He wasn't that big. <laughs> he was mid size. Well, maybe he just Come on. He 50. No, no, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He hold had hold hold some cornbread and rice. Cornbread and rice. Then, Come on. Yes. Cornbread and makes your ass turned, big. It'll make you big. And then he turned it's his possible. fat into muscle. It's possible because I mean, when we get Samoan. older, regardless, you're going to gain weight. Yeah. Just with certain, every like so many 10 years, you're going to just put on weight as you get older. So he could have just finessed it because he was already healthy. I mean, yeah. he's also he Samoan. You know what I'm saying? He turned his fat I mean, into muscle. I mean, also he's Samoan. <laughs> he, he is Samoan. So they they tend to gain weight. Yeah. You know, like. I can, I can get the gain weight. But he would be like how the uh, the two twins are, or like Roman is. Roman big, but he ain't how like. How you know what he co- gonna be like? You his genetics. <laughs> My man, I, I'm talking about veins coming out this shit at he's fifty. He's ready. He's working out like at seven 50, days a come week. Come on, we'd be the same. Stop. Ain't, no, ain't, that, uh, ain't that much chicken breast in the world that's going to hey, be that come on, actually though. big? Like, you, come yes, on. It, yes come it, on. it is Jeez. possible. You wouldn't know until you touch that point. But it's like, it's hard to like... Oh, I'll touch him, all right? I'm not talking about Oh, my bad. <laughs> but I mean, think about this. Like, I would say a good, healthy version of like HGH, because that's probably what he's on. Um, a good, healthy version is like LeBron. LeBron is like still... Well, he does slimming activities, though. Yeah, because like he got to keep abs. Yeah. He, 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 he has cardio. When you're, it, you look different when you're a cardio person, a yoga person, a bodybuilder. You every your body's gonna look different. It also adds on to the diet. Are you, what your protein is like? Most people who run track, uh, track don't really do too much like protein, like you know, like because they need to stay small so they can go faster. Versus if you build in weight, you gonna need all the protein, triple, mm-hmm. <laughs> triple the proteins. Nah. It's, protein. It's funny. AKA because he needs all the movies. So nah. he going plow plow. No. <laughs> he doesn't seem like that type of person. That's just his yeah, he doesn't seem like that Come type of person. On. Wrestling is the most fulfilled <laughs> level of steroids in the game. I'm watching Not Dark Side of the just Ring. In general. Like, <laughs> Come on. So you won't tell I me he got. That's I, the whole industry. You know Rick Flair, I'm sorry. You know Rick Flair was on some drugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't nobody just go, woo. Yes. Without having something. Like, he said right. it was something else that how that name. Maybe that, that he's just an Aries, in. you know? Come on. Come Aries on. have high energy. Shout out to them Aries. Come I on. think it's has to do with genes yeah, and the fact they, that he got older. And, and you have on. more energy. For sure. Why you have more energy and when you work out. Like, of course you're going to Why be, was he never that big when he was younger? Because who is, though? Even 50 Cent, like... He's pretty muscular, not in comparison to The Rock, but he gained weight. You can see the age weight come on. He said he wasn't all that big. He, he, was, nah, he, he was big, big. but he, he wasn't big. that big. He was big. But it, the man was the but most not like, rapper in the game. Big. That man was huge. He was bro. always a big guy. He was big, but not like, oh my God, I know because, he's on steroids now, big. Now he's not because he probably ain't pushing like The Rock is pushing. But even at his <laughs> prime, <laughs> he don't need to. 50 Cent at <laughs> his man, prime was like all day. He don't need to. It's just another comparison on how people get bigger when they're older. And depending on what, how active you are, it's going to look different. It's going to look different depending on your lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, he's yeah. just healthy and you're just jealous. Yeah, that's what it sounds like, you know? If you want to whatever, if you want to whatever, that's whatever. That's whatever. You know? But no, I, I, I agree. You should go watch the movie. It's a solid movie. Yes. You know me. I critique move the fuck out of some movies. And you could text me about it. Like, you know, this shit was fucking lame. Or, yo, this was what's up. I'm like, I expect my fried cheese. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right? No, right. it was, it was, it was different. It was it better did, than I Power like Rangers, I'll tell you that. It came out of nowhere, and it was different. I liked it. It was better than Power Rangers. Yes. 
Oh, for sure. I they, just like the they put into bit. thought. They put thought in this movie. No, I'm sick of the nostalgia because they're doing redoing too many I'm with movies her. that don't need so, to be getting redone. Some just no, like leave them. I'll agree. Certain oh movies should God, not be like. Oh my God! If you say um, something that I, ha- I have it right here, I'm waiting for someone to say. But, I'm I think I got it. I think I got the same idea. I think what you finna say. I said certain. There's certain movies that. Sh- what movie you finna reboot? That shouldn't have got a re- reboot or shouldn't get a reboot. What movie what you finna reboot? Because I got one Why in my head right now. Why they doing that to the color purple? No, no, yeah, they sh- they don't need to reboot they the re- color purple. They're, re- they're doing it. I knew. I knew, knew you were doing, doing it. I knew it. Like I'm kind of. The color I'm purple was a dramatic episode. movie as I'm it was. For it, Why do we need? I was critiquing it when I saw it on social media. The lineup though. Yes. And it's gonna be a musical. So that's the only reason why so I'm here for it. So it's just less pain. No, it's, it's, less pain. Pain. No, it's probably because gonna be just as painful. Not, <laughs> no, first of all, they got Fantasia. Ooh, they got I love her. Haley. I love her. Um, and oh, and you know you're gonna watch I, it. Don't sit there and act like you won't Haley watch, Bailey gonna watch it. Haley Bailey and that other I forget her her name, but that's a that those three people alone. Oh, Taraji, P. Henson. Taraji, yeah, there we go. Mm. Taraji P. Henson as now she looks good on. for being fifty. Nah, stop. Period. That movie's got. I mean, that play's gonna be crazy. I'm definitely gonna see that. I'm, down for it. I'm definitely seeing that. All the all of them can already sing. You already know it's gonna be so much soul in there. That's a crazy yeah. lineup. I don't even need to know who else is in the movie. I just want to see them. <laughs> I, I, She's sold. I, I, like, yeah, I'm there. I was like, I wasn't here for it, but then I seen the lineup. I was like, you know what? You got my interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was you just like that. Interest. Yeah, I saw it on social media. I was like, no, do not do that. Right. Do not. And then I saw yeah. the trailer. I was like, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. It better be good. <laughs> I'm coming with my... Y'all. I'm going to be there right with my sisters. <laughs> right? Cry. If I don't cry, y'all better... it wasn't good. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was excited at first when they announced that there was going to be a Good Burger 2. But now I'm just like... I don't know about this Good what? Burger. I'm just did like, you now, see why? the pictures it took it. behind scene? Yeah. I did not know how... Well, I mean, they're older, obviously. The pounds of makeup... It, I'm not going to lie. You can see it tell. on their skin. I'm not going to lie. You can tell. It's just too HD. <laughs> All the cam- all the cameras are 4K. You could tell. I mean, now. Tina still look good. Bad. Like she, they Tina caked, still look good. They, no, they're caked up. You could tell because when he spoke and he wrinkled and stuff, oh, you know the little no. creases. They it was just the, so like caked. Set it was makeup. no expression. Maybe hold on. Don't judge the movie right out no, the gate now. I, it might be for good. deep faking. Like, it it could might be because be, they might be doing a younger version. Because when they do no, these they have reboots, to. Mm-hmm. obviously they no, he does look younger, but he kind of looks a little bit feminine because of all the foundation and stuff that they put on him. Because they have to make him look a certain way to play a certain part in the movie, and I think it's like a, when they were younger type right. of thing. Because yeah, yeah, you can't, they, you can't help it. I mean, I think with, the, with technology these days, you can CGI that. Oh no, if you absolutely. To be like younger or something, you can CGI. But that. now everyone's bashing about watching the movie because they saw those behind the screen pictures. They're like, oh. Mm-hmm. This is yeah, trick. yeah I so think with certain movies you shouldn't so... don't give too much away until the somebody movie come out. Yeah. That yeah, just... I guess like always somebody leaking yeah. some shit. That's to be expected, honestly. Well, well hold on, hold on. I sit on the fence with that. I, I just said that, and then I said it out, and I was like, nah, I don't agree with that because like certain movies, like when Batman was getting the the, the behind Which the scene one? pieces, Which one? any. Batman? I don't care what it, it, if when they get they behind the scene pieces, I, I get action. more charged up. No, it's like I think, action is different. Yeah, action, action is different. But something that's a chill movie, no. Different because that they're they want to get you hyped. So right. You go to the movie but if it's, it's a all, comedy, yeah. I, yeah, don't don't don't, yeah, don't no. show me none behind the scenes because you are gonna ruin it for me. Also, like I saw this other thing on uh, Facebook too, but they're saying they're gonna do a sequel to Freaky Friday. I'm just like I didn't why? like the first one. They just they just oh, wait. I Freaky think Friday, you talking about Lindsay? Yeah, Lindsay Lohan one. Everybody I'm good. needs why? to take a social media break, okay? Everybody <laughs> yeah. is just fishing for ideas. Nobody, yeah. nobody's ideas is yeah. their own anymore. Everybody needs to the take ri- a break. The writers are on strike, so ain't no original ideas coming up. <laughs> yeah, everybody needs to take a break. They're they're just redoing all of these, even the music industry, that which is a whole oh, another conversation. Oh. All these remixes of the same. <clears throat> like let, let stuff rock. Let stuff be classics. I think it's too soon. You know, it's like we're too not quick. Even, we're not even that old, okay? Right. Y'all making me let feel- <laughs> let it. Like when let when Lauren Hill did uh, <laughs> huh? uh, "Killing Me Softly." Mm-hmm. Yeah. The last person that did it before her was the was like in the seventies. Yeah, so that's my, so it was that's, a that's, wild, that's it a 20, was a good that's gap. A Twenty year gap, yeah. yeah. It was a good mm-hmm. gap. Nah, it just be like I made a song like five years ago, <laughs> and then somebody just make it another six. Somebody I'm just would like, take well, damn. that same song and make a drill song out of it. Right? I'm oh over it. my goodness. I'm, <laughs> I'm 
I'm over it. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Some drill beats do be fine. They do. Some I, drill I, beats I be fine. I ain't saying nothing about drill. I'm just over how again lack of creativity. It'll be like two minutes long. It, it wasn't even enough to really marinate so it could sink in. You'll like it because it's trendy, and then you'll forget about it. So it's really not even hitting. Like when. People do remixes, usually it's like, okay, like w- the remixes that came out when we were younger, like we thought those were the originals until like our parents was like, oh, it's a, it's a copy from like the 60s yeah. or the 70s. And then we heard the classic, then we was like, ah, yeah. But they still both hit, you know? Right. Like they 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 both are on the charts somewhere. Right, right, right. <laughs> they're on the charts somewhere. Everything is just so lazy. But now the new music today is just a remix and it's just like, it, it did all right. It's like, I like sampling. I think some people like some samples are just why? Like why are you sampling this song? It's not even ten years old yet. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Because sometimes people think, oh, the songs that they're doing were hits, mm-hmm. and they're thinking they're gonna get another hit out of something that already was a hit. But then they water it down. It don't even have value. No, right. No. It ain't even quality. Like, right. If you're gonna if you're gonna take, um, what you do for love. Tupac took that and made it golden. Of course. Yeah. You know what I'm oh, saying? I still yeah. listen you know, to that like, version. Yeah. You, you can't take that and then, like, talk about how um, I'm, I'm fucking a side hoe. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And, I'm kind of done with I'm all getting, the. I'm getting paid. It's this generation. Like, that's what people. That's, I'm over that's it. That's what people. That's why I still. I, I hate when I'm in the car and people are like, you always listen to this old shit. Da, da, da. And I'm just like, because. Because it was a good vibe. Yeah. It was yeah. a yeah. good time. Yeah. yeah. Everybody, it here, was a everybody jam. now is either on drugs and want to kill somebody. Like, <laughs> right. Yeah. Or suicidal. Yeah. Please, just, it's Mental Health Awareness Month. Yeah. Please check right. on your people. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and, please, and please, if you come in my car and want to listen to Juice World, I will kick you out. <laughs> yeah. Not, or Rod Wave. Like, come no, on. Oh, my I'm God. Not, don't get me started. Don't get me started. <laughs> yeah. like, you I'm rich. I, why the hell you? Why are you so sad? Oh. Shit, don't come in my car. I, I'll play... <laughs> I'll play Let the Bodies Hit the Floor, bro. I'll, I'll have it jamming yes, in there. Yes, I'm in the backseat what? like. You can't <laughs> <me>. <laughs> you can't. Boy, I come from the wrestling era, okay? I come from the crunk era. Like, okay. Yeah. I'm still listening like, I'm to Trina and Trick Daddy. Somebody, yeah. bro. Like, shit. The, the daddy dollars. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Uncle Luke, Trina. Mm-hmm. Trick Daddy, I'm still in that era. I love yeah. the, those are classic. I don't think Even I'll though it was aggressive, that. it was still a good time. It, it was the vibe because it went with the times. Yeah. That was the times for the, like. And Slip that's and the time I want to remain in. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I Some know. of that I'm stuff was kind of like. No, they like was what? They was <laughs> like the, uh, the, the, the belt. With the with the LED, we're not gonna start we can that. leave. <laughs> that. High key, high key leave don't hate on it because them. they had all the game back in the day. Like you seen somebody with the with the extra the extraness, you just knew. He but was those awesome. was those was qualified as fuck boys at that time. At that time, but you see fuck boys. Hey, hey shout it. Hit you with that, <laughs> and they got their little LED just going across. Say Big Chris. <laughs> <laughs> at least Big Chris was paid. Niggas, these no, days. No, he wasn't. Yeah, boy, he he was. Was. All that yeah, money. Yeah. working back in the day. Yeah, I was like, niggas. Man, that was a You talking about bro, LED, dude? Bro, bro. 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 LED, yeah. Man, he that, was selling some yes. LED. Man, that, that, that belt he was, was a gift for his birthday. That was a birthday gift. He was he selling some of those belts. And flexing that shit. Exactly. He was only in high school getting more paid. Thank you. Thank you. Listen. Man, flex that one belt for the whole school year. Like, come on, stop it, bro. Listen, it was expensive. It was like $5 per letter. (laughs) And if you had a long name, that was expensive. Like yours. That's crazy. That's why she shorted to Lena. (laughs) Exactly. I'm like, uh... Yeah, I only got 20 bucks. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, give me them four letters. <laughs> give me them four. I need something to eat after this. That's all like, I got. Like, uh, I need bus fare, man. I got to get bus right, <laughs> man. Uh, oh, my God. That was the era, boy. You had them. You had the jelly sandals. You had the... Uh, uh, <laughs> Niggas, niggas big ass people. fucking studs. Dude had like yeah. fucking yeah. big ass diamonds. The stars. Like, yeah, the little yeah. star. It was an awkward time in fashion. I wasn't, I'm not too crazy on that era in fashion. No. But no, no, the especially, vibes. especially with like the, um. <laughs> the vibes. It was you the, didn't enjoy looking like Soldier Boy? No. Oh. <laughs> the big ass, <laughs> I, the big I, ass I, I definitely, talking about. I definitely skipped right over it and I was a new, new girl, you know, new boy, oh, new girl okay, era, okay. tight jeans, 
with the ex- three belts on. You oh, know what I'm man. saying? Because it was like Bro, one, one more around the waist. Right. Yes. One is, they're not even in the loop, but it was just the <laughs> vibe. Just hanging. Yeah, yeah. With the low rider pants, you know? Yeah. It was it was a vibe. <laughs> could could we been the kids that were the, the Halloween kids that your parents were just like, just whatever, just put whatever. You got Some one boot, up. one shoe, just go to school. Yeah. And then we took that on and then was like, yo, this is style. And you remember that? Remember? That hold was on, the thing for a long time. <laughs> just, just delete it. Yeah, you, gotta put it you need a little right. band-aid right. underneath that's your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> put a band-aid. No, the, oh, no, the band-aid was alert. Listen, <laughs> but you had fun. Yes. I don't care how you lame we character. looked. I don't care how bad it looks when we looked down at had pictures the and we're like cringe, like, uh, but you had the no, That was me. The extra long I t-shirt like, that was down yeah. the almost your No, I didn't, I didn't do that. That was me. Everybody kind of, well, not, not everybody, but just generally speaking, everybody kind of has the same swag and it's not them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, back then you can tell, okay, like, it was the Sierras there were, of yeah. the group yeah. where yeah. it was like the aunties, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell who was who, but yeah. everybody is like dressing no, like everybody no, trying can, to have you a tell who look. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody looked just the same. Yeah. Yeah. All, yeah. all yeah, the BBLs yeah. and yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. You can, yeah. Yeah. Electric yeah. Daddy. She yeah. definitely yeah. be having like, Cassidy <laughs> dance battles in the garage with her cousins. Like, I can tell. Right. Right. I like the fact that we didn't, back then, we didn't care what people said. Yeah, yeah. no nah, niggas so care. So focused and making Some trends. Yeah, I was like, we care, Some but we care. No, we were so focused and making trends. Like that was our thing. Yeah, making like creating trends yeah. and then be seeing if people followed it. Yeah. Now it's just you're so scared to do a certain thing because you don't want to be judged. Right. Or, right. Because you always got a camera on you. Or yeah. motherfuckers really just don't got no swag. <laughs> I feel like even if like as fashion evolves into whatever wherever is going. The people who are true sense setters is always gonna have their own look. You always know when somebody like just look, they just put that shit on. You just are like, damn, like that. You look good, you know. Mm-hmm. But some people really don't have their own identity. They don't. They don't know what they're doing. They like, okay, well, this is popular, so I'm gonna do that. This person gets this kind of feedback from that, so maybe I should do that to get that kind of feedback. Nobody knows how to think for themselves, mm-hmm. so it ain't even like. Nobody can put themselves out there because they don't know who they are. Yeah. <laughs> True. True. When I first moved here, it was a dude, because uh, I was taking the Lee Tran at the time, and dude got on the bus. I'm talking about he had the whole John Cena outfit. <laughs> okay? Sh- the like, whole, no, they, they I'm talking about with the medallion, he said. everything. Yes. <laughs> he came on that bus with the confidence. I was like, my guy. I gave him a fist bump. I was like, Yes. And and as soon as he got on the bus, the first thing came to my head was that fucking song that ch- 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 I was like dun, 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 right on the bus. I was like, okay, okay, my man killing it. And you know, you had a couple of gangsters over there in the corner, be like, look at this guy. I was like, man, let the let the dude. Haters is always gonna hate, yeah, bro. What? If nobody's making comments, then I ain't doing enough. I'm always True. gonna be extra because why are you asking these questions? I clearly caught your attention. Exactly. Why aren't you judging me? But watch, I'm gonna go on the gram and see you trying to do exactly what I'm doing. It's nothing. My man <laughs> got on the bus and felt like a champion. Okay. Yeah. Good for him. He gave the belt. <laughs> Hell yeah. That that's that's how I want to feel because at the end of the day, we've all watched a movie, and if you loved it, you came out of that bad boy. I mean, the first couple of Fast and Furious. Now it's getting. I don't know where the fuck they they going at this point. They're out here in in the Neverland. No, there should be a... I stopped at eight. No, you stop at like... I stopped at eight. Listen, (laughs) I feel like this is like Scream. It's a tradition now. You have to keep... Well, you can't stop it. Scream was an actually good movie. Like... It, no. But so goddamn, I'm good. But I feel like it has to continue. Like, it just has to. That's how I feel. Yeah, they got pressure. They got to... It's like... I've heard some... can't let the fans down. I've heard some bad... No, I think they already did. I heard some bad reviews about this one. Which one? This one that just came out. I heard some very bad... Yeah, Fast X. I heard some oh, bad reviews about this one. Cause like when you write that many stories, like how do you surprise people? It's not like, surprising how ta- anymore. How can you talk what you did last Unless time? You I think I'm just into, into the new character. I'm just really <laughs> into the action in the cars. They That's put them into space is. last time. Yeah. How can you top that? It's just a thrill. Yeah, being on the long road, going uh, yeah. nowhere. Yeah, when I drive home, Having I feel a like up pass and fuck fucking angry. Pass. So we're gonna go race the car because we don't know how to deal with our problems. Yes. I like it. And it's all I wanna about hit, I want to hit family. 100 over the bridge. 
Don't it's forget family, family. But we neglected our own family, so we made our own family. Family. <laughs> he always got to say it in the most menacing way. He sounds like them old dudes from the eighties <laughs> that do uh, do the narrating. He was a uh, loose cannon cop. <laughs> Freeze, dirtbag! Who doesn't play by the he rules? He doesn't play by the rules. <laughs> Yo, I miss that dude. That's like some Beavis and Butthead type. <laughs> oh, they did come back. Yeah, they yes. did. Yeah, they yep. did. they came them. back. Futurama's Always coming back. Them. But I oh. loved Futurama. Oh, Futurama's different. Futurama's Futurama. coming Futurama. back. Beavis, Beavis and Butthead. Butthead. No, that was like you watched that because that was the only thing on like at the time of that. <laughs> I didn't movie. understand Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, I think I watched it. It was just music videos. That was the thrill of me, like late at night, putting it real low because my mom didn't want me watching it and stuff. Since you say that, what's the show that y'all watch that y'all had to sneak and watch? South Park. Real sex, baby. South Park. Yeah, it was. South Park, yeah. but then it, it was like once my mom discovered South Park, it was over because she loved it. Like <gasps> she loved it, so that was our cue to w- start watching it on our own time. He's like, "Don't watch this inappropriate," but you were just watching it, and we were watching it with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to get in trouble all the it's time. So radical. It was all like some of those like reality shows, like Real World, like. Okay. Real, real world, like College Hill. College Hill, <laughs> you know, Virgin Islands, the best season. Just saying. Real I world like South Beach. Shit. South, the South Beach one was hilarious. South Beach. I didn't watch none of that I, I shit. Like the, you I did it. No, only, I, one, I, only one that. The only thing oh, about real the, world. Yes, oh, okay. yes, yes, yes. Only one. Only thing about the Virgin Islands one was the fact that the bitch got <laughs> her head bust open. That junk was. That shit was wild. Wildly disrespectful. <laughs> that was. Uh, a clear indication a hater was around because, like, she was mad pretty. So, of course, you're going to hit the pretty girl with the heel. Like, disrespectful. Mm. Throw the hands. <laughs> Throw the hands. Why you Why are you doing all that extra stuff? But. Well, I am. <laughs> the dramatic pause is wild. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with a leg like that. Look at that. Uh-huh. Huh? that pulse. The man, the man looked well, like, like he's 36. Well, I like to sit like this. With the flooded pants But it kind of went with the vibe. I like oh, no, it. Go ahead. Continue. I always felt like I, I was rich in a, in a past life. You don't have the socks for it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> he said, your poor ass rich, socks. No, rich people always have those colorful, no, bright, no. You can't, you can't redeem yourself, sis. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I know. It's like, you have the socks of a poor so man. So <laughs> I want to see the little donuts it's like, and the little birds. <laughs> That's how I noticed this is, it. This is she said podcasting. Said you're in <laughs> Why would I be in a suit? They Why would I be in a suit? That was crazy. <laughs> Why would I be in a suit? I wouldn't do that. That's not my style. Right, I'm going to get you some socks. Don't get me <laughs> socks. You're only making it worse. Why, you why, make why is like, that the let's gift? Let's make it look rich. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah why, why is that the gift for guys? Like, Socks, all the days coming. So- socks like and ties. Y'all, like, y'all, don't, y'all be losing y'all socks all the time. Mitch match ass socks. So y'all do be needing socks sometimes. Wow. I be seeing Hold the up. CEOs <laughs> come in with some little Hold uh, nice tucks and don't have the bra. It's just her. through washing clothes. <laughs> no, you know you lose I've socks. I've seen her. I know I done seen you at some point in time at a party or two. Mismatch your socks. Women, that is, that's the style that's is Mitch Matt socks. First of all, nah. You never saw now, me because mismatch- I definitely do sandals or heels. Secondly, when, where? I, I'm now, just saying, I'm pretty sure the house. at some point in that, time when you was at different. school or something like that. That's different. At nighttime when I, woke, crib, when I yeah. wake up, I'm cold and I... And I put on some socks. I do right, wake up. I'm different. like, oh shit! But it wasn't on purpose. Like I don't put. Be like, oh, this is so cool. The kids do it nowadays with their Crocs. The right. kids nowadays. That was the thing that we did. <laughs> yeah, I was like, nah, definitely if, did do that in Greece. Nah, like if you had like two different pairs of Jordans. Like say you had two different pairs of ones. You had one, one that's white, that. one that's but black. That's not, like literally, that's like, not that's, their, but that's but not the intention we're talking shoe. about, though. Yeah, that's intentionally. Doing mismatch. Some people do not intentionally. That was the only sock that they could find before leaving hey, the house. Hey, sometimes be real out here. Like, hey, hey, you be got real out here in the streets. Like, yeah, you like, could look at me like you haven't done laundry this week. Have no, you? I have not. <laughs> or, it, or you know, socks just really just go missing every time you wash a load. Every time I wash a load. I no. lose a sock. I have to buy socks. Is one of those hygiene products I definitely do buy often because <laughs> I don't know. You have your girlfriends come over. They might borrow something. You never get it back. I'll stay forever my losing socks. Borrowing my socks. <laughs> she ain't got that type of friends. Oh, she man. just said, "No, you ain't borrowing." No, but you know how I feel about feet. If I give you a pair of socks, I don't want them back. So. 
I, I try not get over to. your fear of feet or something. Well, listen, <laughs> I, let's talk about it. It's a phobia. <laughs> let's, let's unpack. This. Let's, <laughs> let me tell you this now that I remember. When I was in Costa Rica, I paid for my man to get a massage because he rode a horse and he didn't want to, and he suffered a lot. You know, if you're not used to it, you get the thigh pain and stuff. So he got off that horse. He's like, "Yo, babe, I feel like I left my my balls on that horse." I'm like, "Yeah, if you're not used to it, you know." So I felt bad after we got out the horse, and I paid for those ladies at the beach to get a massage. Thirty dollars for like an hour. That's so, yeah, crazy. That's cheap. That's cheap. That is Ooh. slave labor. Yo. But we t- we tip good though because <laughs> I, I thought it was cheap. I when I looked never, at the paper, I, I would even never said do a massage me, for thirty dollars. No. Do not. I mean, reach but I bet you it was the bomb though. No, I, we paid American dollars. This is America. So it is kind of like a lot. No, but I did tip her good because I felt. I said myself. I said you're touching somebody's sweat. Let me get you sixty. Yeah, exactly. I know I was generous because I. You're being, you're touching somebody, but whatever. I'm laying there, right? I have my eyes closed. I have my pina colada, and I just felt the other lady come and grab my leg to start a massage. Boy, that reflex. Half asleep, and I told, "Don't touch me." I, I reacted, and she looked at me. She's, and I'm like, "I'm so sorry. I got a phobia. I don't like my feet touched." I said, "I'm sorry. Wow. I'm, I apologize. If you want to also, you know, do my boyfriend, that's fine. Just I don't want nobody touching me." And she's like, "Oh, okay." And I'm like, "I'm so sorry. I felt bad." But it was a rea- like a reaction what without happened? thinking we to get your you feet it, when yeah. you were younger. So, I just yeah. never. I just always felt like they like feet are dirty. Okay. So you don't even wash your own feet or something. You know? No, like, I, I get my toes done because I feel like I need to. I'm a woman. That's what you do. You have to keep up with them. So if your man wants to give you a massage. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay, so if your my man, person so, dies. Wait, so if your man these, want, they're so gonna be called. So if your man wanted to um, give you a foot massage, you wouldn't let him. That's crazy. I put a sock on. And oh he's my try- god! He's trying to break it in. My poor, my poor <laughs> sister really missing out on half of the, the pleasures of a massage. No, by, I know it feels g- because he gets those pressure points. I'm like, I start moaning, but it, at, at the back every, of my mind, every I'm, point of your foot is connected to a, another body part. So reflexology is something serious. Like, some girl, you can <laughs> you can unclog um, your we, large. Oh. Your large intestines through f- reflexology. You oh, can damn. get rid of headaches through reflexology. Oh, so that explains why I always have a headache. You know, I need to get my feet massaged. Um, different points like the brain, fingers, your yeah. lungs, everything. The hands I, I know of, but yeah. the feet. And I know it's I know it's beneficial because yeah. my homegirl got it. And she was in that seat like about a bust a nut. Yeah. But I, <laughs> but I just could Leslie, You got somebody doing it correctly? And then yeah. like, Come out. You be like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, so we go to it's that. Like, fuck yeah. a happy ending. Yeah. Right? I don't, slowly. Because right now with socks, I'm okay. I yeah. still kind of do the little jumpies. like, babe, relax. I'm like, okay. Yeah. But I'm trying to think deep. And it's not like I experienced something horrible. Yeah. No. It's just since I was a little girl, I always thought they were. I, I feel that. Because my older sister, like, don't. Don't put your feet on her, cause like me and my sisters, we cuddle. Like yeah. So like, but she don't 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 ease that foot back. Exactly. Don't don't, don't ease that foot back. She's gonna interrupt the whole beautiful session. Like nope, I gotta sit up yeah. now because now she's freak. She's psyched out about feet. And I'm just like, Dag, bro. Like my junks is beautiful. Like relax. Like I just love picking on her. But I'm praying for you, sis. Cause I'm telling you, feet, man. I know. I, everyone tells me how crazy I am. One day. You, you have not, to just break soon. through it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do. And I'm trying. I did that with, I'm um, like, because, uh, like, yeah, I can go get roaches and shit and smack them, get them all out of the, out of the area. But for the longest time, I, I wasn't like that. Like early on, I was, that was like, a, that was "Oh a harsh shit!" Comparison. No, I'm just no, no, no. When you're young, no, no, you young, you know, you just no, don't come it. predisposed like that. Yeah. You have to, you know, get yourself right. accustomed to that. So, I just sat outside one time because I was like, I really wanted to go outside and go play in a certain area, but it was just like I, I saw one bug. I was like, man, <laughs> going in there, fam. yo, the way, man, the way I would take my shoe off and literally. <laughs> No, that's not anything. me. I like, wish I could. But that's the thing. That's what he's trying to say. Like, it it took a lot to get there. And I get right. it. I'm trying. I really am. I know I'm missing out. I, I get it. Start off I with just it. massaging your own feet. You know, like, after you I'm, get out oh, the shower, I lotion, I do, you know, yeah. and just get in there. And, and then yeah. you go like, oh, wait, that actually feels nice. <laughs> you know? Take and little just, steps. You know? Little steps. Okay. Go from there. Get used to your hands make, and your touch. 
All right, I'm going to give myself right, homework. Hit that box. You have to explain to her what we're doing. Oh, oh so, yes, this is... This right here is the toxic box. It's got okay. a whole bunch of wild-ass questions, like I told you before. Okay. You know, whatever we pick, we all go around and God we damn. talk about it. You yeah. know, we discuss it. <laughs> Some Everybody questions are appropriate. One. Others no, aren't. It's hilarious. Yeah. You may pass if there are <laughs> two <laughs> other No, you may. Since when the Man, we got started? It. <laughs> None of this started. Not for you. Not for you. Not for you. Nah. For the guests. Uh, no. You know, certain people. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right, let's go. <laughs> What's something most people don't know about you? Oh, damn. Mm. <laughs> so let's take a minute to think. Right. Mm. Expose yourself, basically. <laughs> okay. I don't got, you never do that. All right, I got it. <laughs> I have a mean collection of Beanie Babies. Oh, okay. Like T.Y. Beanie Babies? Yes. Oh, my God, my sister loved them things. Yes, yeah. and no one has really, like, seen them. Like, they're in a box. They're put away. They're wrapped and stuff. Yeah. And once in a while, I go in the box and look at them because they're so cute, and then Beanie I put them back away. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and then put them back away. <laughs> yes, and my daughter's like, I have what I said. Fuck no, <laughs> you may not. Uh-huh. I know. Uh-huh. I know. Mm. Mm. <laughs> go ahead, Eugene. If anybody else has it, go ahead. Um, Rashida? Take a little minute. Damn, I'm still thinking. Okay. That was a hard question. Um, I'm actually really nice. <laughs> oh, so you so must you have got a lot of comments. Everybody yeah. thinks that you mean. You, um, you look I mean? Think, is think, that what it is? Yeah, I think, you look I think mean. people have a lot of opinions about me. I really don't care. Um, It's just how I carry myself. I'm very assertive and kind of stern if I don't know you. And just mainly because I'm just so business-minded, I, I could come off a certain way. Mm-hmm. But to the people that are dear to me, oh, they get the best of me. So it's just like, I'm super sweet. You, I just don't believe everybody deserves that access. Facts. Yeah. You know? Facts. He's still thinking. <laughs> he's, like, he's going his little, his person is going his little file right now. Yeah. Go ahead. Because I'm, I'm trying to figure out, because most of the stuff that I've probably said, well, I mean, for the audience members, if they don't know, I am deaf in my right ear. <gasps> I didn't know that. Yeah. Yep. Like fully deaf? Yeah. No like from birth. Way. Yeah. That's I had to crazy. take speech class and a lot. Of, I mean, from time to time, if you hear me, I'll slur certain words. I, can't I mean, hear I do it, it all the time, but that's because I'm bilingual. <laughs> my, my English is Spanish, so I mean. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. But yeah. Okay. Definitely one ear. Yeah. Awesome to know. Yeah. Like, I see. Like, do you, I see. Like, so I, feel, I see. Yeah. Oh, you petty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you petty. <laughs> Like if it's the truth, it's the truth. Like come on, I've heard it all, man. I've heard it all. Have you? Have they told you that there was like no fixing it? I mean, I could wear a hearing aid, but that shit was embarrassing. Why? The hearing aid makes you no. The one makes you no, 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 the ones, the joints today, the oh, we good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, back in the, the day. The ones back when they I was in school, uh-huh. yo, I had they the thing. The and they were new. I had this, yeah. and then it went all the way in the back, and it had a box on the. I was like, oh, <laughs> hell no. It was that the way. box was wild. Not the box. I've never seen it. Was like a, and it was what the, was the box it was this for? color. <laughs> it was this color. <laughs> you remember the old school? Yeah, yeah man. You mattress skin? You know, no. today, now. You know the name. Everything got like black now. Yeah. Nah, it was the old dingy no. brown. I remember seeing like the <laughs> yeah. I, I remember seeing like got the antenna on it and too. shit. So what was the box for? That's so how it powered hear. up. That battery. You gotta think today. Now we got batteries. Times where we got batteries now. We got a tiny. Okay. But, okay, that you makes you know, sense. So you had like double A. I mean, I'm thirty. Yeah, I'm thirty six. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm thirty six. So. Yeah, no, uh, now they're like, real no, I'm kind of showing my age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. Yeah, what yeah. if you start now? I'm good. I don't think he cares. Yeah. You already live with it. You're like, it's almost kind of like uh, Gabe with not wearing glasses. Like, I can still I can still see. But I've whispered things and you have turned around. You whispered in the right ear. Yeah, you whispered in the right <laughs> ear. Yeah. yeah. Or I might have. <laughs> correct. Oh, or, God. Or, no, or, no, y'all gonna make jokes about mine. So or, I know which one be. or if, if I'm against a wall, like, why I'm always if you see me in 
any show, any podcast, anywhere, I always sit against the wall. And the reason for that is if you talk, it's going to bounce and hit me right here. Oh, my God. That is so fucking awesome. Yeah. It's the same way you would do sound. Like when you do my music heart. production. <laughs> I don't like it. It's, it's the same thing like music production. If the speakers are certain, hitting a certain angle, they're going to bounce back and so give question, you a, a certain sound. Anybody else in your family has this issue? Uh, my sister. <gasps> so you were both born with it. But she has the opposite. The opposite ear? Opposite ear. Okay. Mm, so was it something hereditary? I was premature. <laughs> Was um, she? Oh. Uh, I think she was too. I think. Oh, I think so. So maybe it has to do with the. We fact wasn't fully cooked. Probably. You know, we came out early. Oh. Yeah. Yo, what's up? It's like actually, I'm tired of being in here, gang. No, yeah. You said what? You just got like, like actually, I'm tired of being in yeah, here. Yeah, you got to be. Like, like, <laughs> my, like free, free, I'm coming out. <laughs> free me. Like, well, I'm ready to go. Yeah, my mine is I'm partially colorblind. <gasps> oh shit. Okay. Are you serious? Oh like, shit. It's, yeah, oh, that's <laughs> y'all wow. cracking me up. Like it's Yo, like cer- certain shit. Like it's not like I can't see color, but it's like cert- Like if you put two like certain shades of blue, I can't tell the difference. Tell the difference. Yeah. It's like light, like light to light. Like you get two different light shades of blue. I'm gonna think it's blue. I, that makes me wonder. <clears throat> like not to be funny, I w- I wonder if like that makes me like also have be colorblind because. Different shades of like a certain color, I cannot tell the difference. When they do the little chart of like, let's say yellow, and it's all these, how many different yellows is there? I always, I'm looking at that post and I'm like, there's only two yellows. And they're like, no, there was eight. And I was like, wait, yeah. what? Mm-hmm. But yeah. I cannot see them. They're mm-hmm. like, look, and they're like pointing out from this little gap here. This is one, two, mm-hmm. three. I cannot see it. I can see that. You can see that? Yeah. I got but see, I heard that I when like, you lack something, something else catches that power. Mm-hmm. So maybe yeah. you can't hear, but your vision is super yes. good. Right. And yes. for me, I'm all ears. I'm mad blind right now, but I always <laughs> choose to like be pretty sometimes. And not wear my glasses. Glasses, like how blind? Glasses are annoying. Like I can see y'all, you know. But don't ask me. But I'm me talking about Vel- Velma. No, blind. No. <laughs> like as like, soon as the glasses, my glasses. Oh, you just you no. tap into shit. My glasses. <laughs> no, I have a I have a stigma. Oh, so okay. it's like if I close this eye. You got I'm me. struggling. You like, struggling? I'm de- now you're blurry. Okay. But if I like this, I rely on my um left eye a lot. But okay. Mm, do you do us. you close one to no. see? You be like, no, okay, honestly, he's there, and then no, honestly, go back. Like, if I'm on the phone at night and I know I should be wearing my glasses, I do end up like doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I said get okay. surgery. That's the best thing I did. Hell at no. Hell. You, you can fuck your eyes no. up if you got the wrong doctor. I feel like I'm so used to wearing glasses. It only really comes when I need to use technology because I I like to you gotta ugh, I like to play tricks on my brain a lot. Yeah. So if I know that I need something, if I keep telling myself I need it, then I'm gonna need it. But if yeah. I tell myself I don't need it, you then I'm gonna believe it. I don't yeah. need it. Yeah. So it's like only when it's like ugh, I'm on my phone a lot, I'm on the computer, if I'm watching TV, if I'm reading. But if I'm just in my day to day, I'm like okay, I'm really big on shapes and colors help yeah. me identify everything. So it's just like okay. 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 Yeah. Do you have any regrets? Ooh. <laughs> Plenty, boy. Plenty. Damn. Nah, I don't want to be nasty. Gonna... I know what you're going to say. Exactly. I don't want to be nasty. We ain't going to go that one. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to take her, that one off the book. Let her be her. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let let her do let her let her do her thing. Let her heal. Yeah. I don't think I don't know. Bashing, I don't know. Bashing wouldn't. Oh, be never good. to bash, but no. tell a story, speak your truth. There, there's many regrets, but I feel like with regrets, you learn. You you do an error to be perfect at something else. You, that's how I see it. So, do I have regrets? Plenty. I will say one of my biggest. Well, no, I'm not gonna share my biggest ones. Let me share one of my little ones. Smart. I'm thinking. You thinking too? No. Um, my biggest regret would be like not going into like the production. Like I went independent, mm-hmm. but parts of me was like, man, I could have skipped a lot of this bullshit if I went to, you know, sign into a production but it would have had me for six though 
I couldn't do any independent stuff on my own. So it's just like, and I think that's what, you know, a lot of other people that are in this industry too, that have to deal with that. It's like, do you want to sign and get the quick deal? But you still have to pay for the same amount of people. So I, you know, I think one you know. of me was, I know it's going to sound cr so crazy and don't laugh, but I regret my whole face. When I, t when I turned 21, that one year, I was crazy for one year, from 21 until 22 that I got pregnant. That year was like, and it's messed up because that year was like a fun year, but I got judged so much. And then that's why I always say my daughter saved me because once I got pregnant, I was like, that's out the door. If I could take that back, I would because I have a daughter now mm -hmm. and I wouldn't want her to go through this little whole phase that a lot of people go through. So as soon as you took your first whole phase, you just, you just, you was like, Phew. yeah, out the, go out the gate. You was already judged. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And then yeah. oh. not only that, but there was more added to it. Mm -hmm. So there was like, you know, you had your fun with certain people and then all of a sudden people that you didn't have fun with were saying, oh, I did too. And it's like, no, the fuck you did it because I don't lie on mine. Mm -hmm. I will say, yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. But there's some people that make up stories. So once you have that reputation, then you have people, girls that don't like you. Then you have men lying on you. Then you just have this bad reputation. But once I had my daughter, like I was like, oh, absolutely not. Like that was the end of it. So it was like a, a strict, like strictly one, like literally my 21st birthday. Then I got pregnant. Literally, I conceived on my 22nd birth. Yeah. So it was, it was literally a year Yeah, that I wish I could take back. Hi, Key. Don't regret that because, one, you needed to go through that to get to where you are today to conclude that you actually don't need a whole face. So True. now you can be that person for your daughter to, you know. And it you, encouraged me to work at an infectious disease clinic. Exactly. And I educate people on that. And, and look at that. So everything, everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. I, like... I'm a, there's a, I, I believe there's a little bit of a narcissist in everybody. Yeah. I have no regrets. Mainly because it is what it is. I, I, and you know, a lot of people are like, you know what, this happened, that happened. Like, but honestly, it needed to. Rather, yeah. if I'm able to see the reason now or 10 years from now or a couple months from now, every single action I take, I know that I'm, I'm living with purpose. Yeah. So even if I'm hurting, I'm still living with purpose. Just because I'm hurting doesn't mean that, you know, I'm any less valid of, mm -hmm. of emotion or action. Nah, fuck that. Okay. You had to go through <laughs> what you had to go through to conclude that. And also you end up having your daughter. So, you mm -hmm. know, if you didn't have that, you, you probably wouldn't have your daughter here, you know? That's true. So, Fuck regrets, you know. I think we. I think <laughs> it, it it hurts more because of what's at stake. Because you, yeah. you can easily the way you say it, saying that, it sounds like a video game, and because the stakes are not high, mm -hmm. it's just be like ah, oh, I'm gonna make a choice, but regardless, it's whatever. Mm -hmm. But because my energy was with that, my time was with that, my money was with that, right. everything mm -hmm. was part of it. Mm -hmm. It's just like damn. Of course, but I I don't say that because. I never had high stakes. I say that because I have a high level of acceptance. Regardless what phase I go through, I have to I have to be the person that nourishes me. Nobody's going to understand why I did something like I would understand. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to know what I'm going through like I'm going to go through. Mm -hmm. So if I made a, a left turn and I was supposed to go right, fuck it. You know, because at the end of the day, it even though you might have hurt and you, you got a little bruised during that, you needed that lesson to understand you needed to go fucking right. So you have to <laughs> you have to fuck up sometimes, especially mm -hmm. like giving the circumstances. But we don't even got to give get all deep into upbringings and all of that and resources and all of this other stuff. You got to you got to be easy on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who you were during a certain period of time is the best you could do. Who you are now, you know better. You have more resources. You have more community. You have more enlightenment. But you had to go through those things to get that enlightenment in the first place. So you can be able to tell the tale. You shouldn't probably do this because, honestly, I lived that shit firsthand. And, honestly, you just you just hurting. Because behind anger is just layers and layers of hurt. And yep. 
again, a lot of us weren't taught how to deal with those things properly. So we, we picked up our own mm-hmm. vices along the way. You know what I'm saying? Some people chose drugs instead. Some people chose, you know, to, to juke, whatever. People do with what people the fucking got to feel like they got to mm-hmm. do in that time period. But don't regret it. You know, it's only... But it pushed me to get closer to God because exactly. then when I matured and stuff and then I, I thought about it, I was like, yo, thank God I didn't get raped. Mm-hmm. Thank God I didn't yeah. get killed. Thank God I didn't, you know, catch a... Uh, a disease, no HIV. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, there was a lot of things that I was saved from. So it made me, like, thank God a lot right. in that aspect. I'm like, oh, man, I was really... Because there's some women that continue that stage or get addicted to that stage. I was just easily, like, I'm pregnant. I mean, oh that's God. the nice way of saying it, but really and truly, it's just you sucked at being a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you? Like, did you suck at being a hoe? Like, it wasn't you. Like, it wasn't you. Had to hang that jersey on one year. Yo, you was out. Yo, you was out your rookie year. You was out your rookie. I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, yo, I think you're fucking right. I think I did just. Suck. I mean, but hold on, during the whole, hold on, during the whole phase, I think I was trying to fit in more than anything. I you had confidence. I, she I came in there. You can't judge me like, like who's gonna be coming a five for, foot no, two. Who's gonna be a hoe for five years though? Like, Lena Martin. She took like, the shorts off. Man, somebody better that shit down. Get out of here. Get this court. Get off like, the court. I think you got to judge it by months. Because who's going to really be a hoe for multiple years? A lot of people Hit just you. happy doing what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Hit yours, man. I mean, my, I think with mine, uh. it's more of like, I don't got too many regrets at all. But it's like, I think one of them is like, one of my exes, I feel like I should have broke up with her earlier. Mm. Instead of just like, okay. Lingering. I'm, like, okay, I'm gonna just forgive you. I'm gonna try to try to work this out. Yeah, I should just. Life. I'm gonna work this out. Whatever, just for you to do the same shit again. I'm like, I right, I should have just the first. Now it's like the first time you fuck up. I'm like, nope, I'm out. Yeah. So that's just a lesson learned. So you 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 now have stronger boundaries, and mm-hmm. and know and know your value at a higher stance because you went through that. Now you know better. That's why you shouldn't regret it. Them lessons, man. Them lessons. They always gonna All do. Right, we gotta speed to through these. We up about over time a little bit. Are disagreements and agreements a red flag when getting to know somebody? No. Because I don't want a yes man slash woman. <laughs> Cause like, again, everything is about duality. If you got somebody who is uh, so agreeable with, like, personally for me, if I have somebody who's too agreeable with me, you're not teaching me nothing. I can't learn nothing from you. You're not challenging me. I'm I'm too comfortable. And it's like, so, are you just agreeing just to make me happy? Exactly. And you know, it de- it depends on the level of disagreement. It's a red flag for per person if the disagreements are on major or major like moral things. Like mm-hmm. we just don't align. Like your wants don't align with my wants. That's technically a red flag to be like, hey, I gotta I gotta go elsewhere because we're just gonna waste each other's time. But if it's like just small agree- like disagreements, like relationships to a certain extent is all about compromise regardless. So small small disagreements is necessary. You don't want to watch the kid like today. Ar- what if it's like an <laughs> argument, like, and y'all just in the talking phase, but y'all arguing? It depends. It How depends on the, t- the argument, right? Get because I like seeing people when they mad because that showed me how you really feel. Mm. Because I I experienced That's such a like, mixed bag of emotions. Oh my god! Yeah, I experienced anger like really different. It makes me zoom in versus it makes some people scatter. So I'm just like, okay, how are you responding to this? So I would I would necessarily pay attention to how they respond versus just the response in general. Okay. I'm pretty sure we all agree with that. Yeah, I, I'm me too. So yeah, she I'm was just right go, on. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I'm gonna just I'm gonna go just tap out and say yeah. Last question: What makes you the happiest? Ah oh, man, my child. Even though I want to. Oh, thank you. No, because it's a love hate. Like she, she gets on my nerves. But every time I see her, I'm just like so That's excited. That's your damn child. Like, what I you know. Mean? She gets on your nerves. 
you everybody you love get on your nerves sometimes. Yep. That's, that's normal. <laughs> but she's me. Yeah. And that's why she's you not? Nerves. Yes. It's and a just, mirror. <laughs> the things she says, like the rude things that she says, it's like sometimes when I get away from her, I'm so excited. I'm like, oh my God, I need this. And then an hour later, I'll be like, so you can't take baby. you? Mm, no, not yeah. much. Okay, not you. all yeah, the I got time. You. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> I feel it. Um, what makes me happy is build, be, being able to build a platform where everybody can come on and and express themselves. That is, I think that's the biggest thing. I think that's the revealing thing after being, uh, what is it, almost 12 years in the game now. So after doing that, it's just being able to give a platform to people and be like, hey, here's a camera. That's you. Yeah. Sometimes they'll take it to the next level and get drunk on it and think they got the biggest fame in the world. And be like, dude, you're just locally famous. But then it's those real individuals that be like, all right, use this as a platform to step on to the mm-hmm. next thing that mm-hmm. you need to go to. So. I think that's my biggest thing that I think is happiness. What makes me happy is being able to live in my passions, whatever that looks like for whatever time period I am in in my life, whatever. That could be art. That can be me tending to family more in a certain season. That can be me tending to me more in a certain season. Whatever it is, just as long as it's in my passion, because I know when I'm living unapologetically in my passion, that also inspires the other people around me, even though that's not my intentions, it's like a ripple effect. Because then once people get inspired, then they start doing the things that they love. And then that also inspires me back in return. So it's like this constant like fuel of energy of exchange that's going on with the people that are around me. So. As long as I'm making sure I'm good, I know everything else is going to be great. <laughs> peace. As long as I'm in like a state of peace, like that could be me be- being in solitude, that could be me being around people who I genuinely fuck with, but like that's what makes like cuz not a lot makes me happy, I'm not going to lie to you. Mm-hmm. You're a Virgo. Like, yeah, so I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying like so <laughs> I know one thing that does make me happy is like, yo, the fact I ain't gotta argue with nobody, I ain't gotta fuss with nobody, I ain't got, I ain't gotta feel like I can't be in my own place, and just like, like I have a place, like to have a place where, or just a moment where I could just be like, huh, yeah, mm-hmm. that's what makes me happy. Okay. With that being said, hit on with your social medias, Lena. Yeah. Lena Martin for personal and for your cups, Glit World by Lena. Oh, I thought you were going to go. Um, so I'm the last on, person. For my business account, for all personalized jewelry, massage therapy, and more, um, we have Spiritual G Jewels. And my personal account is Rashida Shahid on Facebook. And you can find me through Instagram the same way. Hmm. Uh, <coughs> Instagram. Twitter, Desoteric Child. If you hit me up on Facebook, I'm not going to respond. Mm. Like, gee, shit. Can you put the music, please? <laughs> you, what you mad about? Why is you mad? We're, we're a year in with the same I bullshit. Swear. What is you mad? Maybe on Facebook. I do, but I don't like adding new people. Especially if, like... Oh, my God. Like, you just know... Like, do you just... <laughs> EX3. <laughs> Y'all hit your boys up. You need the shirts. You need some podcasts. You need video. You need whatever the fuck that's in the industry. We do it all here. And if we don't do it here, audio, I got my boys, Empire Troop and Doghouse Studios. I can hook you up. All right? Y'all make sure you hit your boy up. Enya, hit us.